Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm so excited about. I had this idea for a while, totally inspired by Morgan Yates. I'll link her video down below. Today's video, we are going to be trying all the trendy coffee shops in Westboro. I'm going to turn this into a series on my channel, I guess, um, because I felt like there's just so many cute areas of Ottawa and there's so many good coffee shops. Like, you really can't narrow it down to four or five, you know? So, Westboro and Hintonburg, they're very, like, trendy areas, lots of trendy coffee shops and stuff. So, that's where we started today, but I just want to pop on and say hi, hello, welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below and stick around. And I normally make college and lifestyle videos. I actually don't film a lot of videos like this, but this was so much fun. Also, a huge shout out to my best friend, Brooke, for coming along on the adventure and drinking tons of coffee with me if you can't tell I'm extremely caffeinated because I've had basically five lattes in the span of two hours so I'm really caffeinated and hyped up and I'm so so excited for you guys to see this video we judged all the coffee shops based on numerous factors so like location parking the vibe like the ability to go in and study how friendly the staff were um, and price so we did that and then at the end we tallied them all up and ranked all the coffee shops so make sure you guys stay tuned to the end to hear our final decision on all the coffee shops but i hope you guys enjoy it and if you guys live in ottawa let me know down below what area of ottawa you guys want us to do next and let's just get into the video okay guys brooke and i are headed to our first coffee shop which yes. is equator which is i guess kind of like a biased opinion because this is actually probably like would you say this is your favorite coffee shop in ottawa yeah this arguably. is my favorite and I figured we have to do like a really basic drink. So we're just gonna get vanilla lattes everywhere we go. That's what we usually order anyway. Just straight vanilla lattes with regular milk. Be fun time. The sun's even coming out. It's supposed to rain all day. Mm. And the sun is out. They have a nice little patio too for the summer, which is nice. So that wins. In the coffee. Okay, first sip. Mm. Mm. Gold as always. Amazing. Yeah. We'll give a full breakdown when we get to the car. We're gonna walk and get a snack. Okay, we're back. Okay, so I figured I'd get receipts of everything and I'll show you guys. It was five sixty six with a fifteen percent tip, which I feel like is like yeah. So like before four ninety two. Four ninety two, and I think that's actually really good. That for is a, good. For a latte. Mm -hmm. In Ottawa. Reasonable. That's, That's probably going to be one of the cheaper That'll ones. That'll be the cheaper ones. But we're pretty decent. Pretty size. decent sized. Yeah. Pretty cute. Reusable. Okay. Mm. Location. Good location. Yeah. Did they get to? It's on a corner. I don't know. Prime location. Lots of seating. Mm -hmm. Um. Cute too. And cute. there's a lot of windows. Cute. Spacious. A lot of Instagram opportunities. Great first date spot. I like the vibe there. Like I could study there easily. I think it's a good vibe. People are very friendly. The staff are very friendly there. I think overall the vibe there. I just like the vibe at Equator. But I think we're biased because we like Equator a lot. True, but. I mean, if but we like it, why not go other back? Do too, but yes, right? I like it. super nice. They bring it to you. They bring if you it, stay. yeah. If you stay, they bring it to you. They have a lot of food. I didn't go over the food there, but they have a lot of snacks and sandwiches. Mm -hmm. And um, I know they have a lot of milk alternatives. I think they do soy almond oat. Great milk alternatives for y'all dairy free people. And I just overall give Equator like five out of five. Yeah, we're biased. Okay, we're in the next spot. Equator, great vibe, very spacious. Recommend. There the, but next, we're gonna hit up. Wild Child Coffee Project. We've actually never been here. We go up to Wild Child now, and I guess we will talk to you guys when we get there. I need It was fresh in there though. The coffee, I'm yeah. I'm about to cups, take my first sip, but it's amazing. Oh my god, it's good. Eh? Like that's better than Equator. It is. Like the taste wow. is amazing. That's so, so good. That's even like, if you were just to pop in and then yeah. like do something else to get. I the would coffee. definitely just like pop in and get a coffee there. Really good. And yeah, the experience was really nice. We didn't realize what the concept of it yeah. was, but the lady was super super nice. Mm -hmm. And basically, it's like a half coffee shop, half like play area for kids that it's called wild child so we didn't infer yeah, that we didn't infer that it's but for kids, the but owner was here she we was talked an to her angel. she's super super nice mm -hmm. no if i would yeah come here to study that's the only thing because yeah. it was loud and there was a lot of kids but mm -hmm. like it's not the kind of coffee shop you would come and study at but we were honestly, the only people without kids in there yeah but. <laughs> i love that place she was really really nice too mm -hmm. 
The vibe in there was nice though. Like it was kind of pretty chill. It was fr like, pretty lax. Yeah, good um, color scheme. Yeah, <laughs> and like good very lighting. like just yeah. It was like white. I liked it. It was like kind of plain, but I liked how plain it was. Mm -hmm. But that one was five thirty seven. So like about forty cents more. But that's a way better coffee to me. It was so friendly. I mean, we didn't talk about that, which is kind compostable. Of yes, Love that. compostable to me. Mm -hmm. So like space-wise, yeah. equators mm -hmm. probably more can like. Conducive overall like, equator is still the location the coffee, coffee itself here. this is like here and like a quality latte both places were friend super everyone was super friendly though that vanilla is just so good mm -hmm. that's what it is it's a syrup I don't know it's what she's syrup but it's really amazing and it for us she too. mixed it good I appreciate the latte she really took the, the spoon and she was mixing the syrup Slow, when the milk was going yeah. in I really appreciate that with yeah, four and a half point five. yeah a four and a half on five because that, that was good yeah great quality if you have kids Come check them 100% out. Recommend. Even if you don't, stop by and get a latte because this yeah. is not going to disappoint. I promise you. Yeah. Ministry coffee. Yes, cute, okay. Cheers. This is still the same cup. Yeah, it's the same cup. We just don't want to keep wasting yeah. those cups. Okay. Ready? Yeah. It's good. Yeah. It's not super hot, and we just got it. I kind of like that though. Like, but I me can too. drink it right away. It's, it's like, very milky. It's not very it expressive. It smells really good. <laughs> it smells good, but I find it very milky. I agree. Like the espresso like, shot was like watered down. Yeah, so like the first two places, the espresso was strong, mm -hmm. I would say. This, this is good, is... but I wish the espresso was stronger. Yeah, like you could probably get an extra shot. I can just taste vanilla and milk right now. Mm -hmm. Like hot vanilla milk. I agree. They actually also serve food, and at night it turns into like a whiskey bar kind of yeah. situation. As you guys saw, there's lots of seating in there, which I do mm -hmm. like. It's pretty dark, though. It's dark. I don't like, I just don't know, like, it really depends on who's working. I don't find the staff there ever, like, super, super friendly. friendly. Like, Agreed. no one ever really wants to talk to you, which is fine. Like, I get that you're here to serve me coffee, but I find the other places we went to were, like, really engaging. Yeah. And Equator is, they're always super nice there and want to talk, but I understand that, like, it's not your job to make So if you're not really into, like, small talk or any kind of conversation, and you want to be in and out, this is a yeah. good one, yeah. Um, which I actually appreciate sometimes. Yeah, sometimes I think I'm it depends on my mood. Chat, yeah. I think it's because it's dark in there. Like it's the vibe dark, is like kind of, yeah. it's dreary, dreary, barry, but I don't find it like it's not the brightest spot to be. You're not really going to get any Instagram opportunities no. there. Maybe on the graffiti wall outside, but that's it. Dark. The coffee's good. I give I that give like, like a three, three and a half. And a half. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah. You definitely should get an extra shot if you're going to get a latte there. And I just find it a little like sad girl vibe in there, like a little emo. Yeah. Definitely like it's emo. not like a place you go and like you're really inspired it's like to work. Like, we'll go to the next one and we will reconvene in a hot minute. Hey guys, we're coming at you from a red light right now, but I did yeah. throw in how much this one was. This one was 503, no tip. So second cheapest. For yeah. the same price as Equator, but to me, I would rather pay the 30 cents more and me go to too. Wild Child still. Also, sorry, I've changed my hair 45 times. Yeah. So we went to Morning Owl. This is the cup. This is the cup. Plain Vanilla Jane. Um, it is good. It's like the sweetener tastes interesting. I don't know how to describe it. Mmm. It tastes like marshmallows. That's what it is. Like it's like a. It's a different flavor, but it's quite nice. It's good. There's a good it balance between espresso though, right? and that. Six dollars. That was the most expensive one. That one was five ninety. Yeah. So that was expensive. I did really like the vibe in there. Mm -hmm. There was it was not busy at all. Not busy. Lots of spots to study. Big windows. There was a cute, it was really we're not looking, <laughs> but if you are, <laughs> it was really nice in there. It was really quiet. We're in like a quieter part of town. Like people don't really come here to like come to a coffee shop. I, I don't agree. think we're in more of like a residential area now. But it was really nice. I it's, actually like the vibe in there. There's a lot of street parking. There was mm -hmm. a lot of twinkly lights, which was cute. It was, it was very aesthetically pleasing. Great Instagram opportunities yeah. there. I'd give that like a like four. A four. I give it a four on five. So they only take debit, they don't take yeah. credit. So 
just FYI. that was and they have food the guy was nice quiet but i liked the vibe in there more than ministry coffee agree overall four out of five one this time because I'm getting really tired of hot coffee but we got this ice one and I kind of like how it's in like a paper cup it's like the best ice latte yeah it's, better, that's better than an equator it, ice this latte. is huge this was this like, is big that was oh, actually the cheapest that was three something and 380 then, and then I tipped 50 cents so it was about 430 so that was actually the cheapest but like this one. is huge that's big and I really it's love amazing. the vibe in there the taste is like I it's, it's not comparable ever. Yeah. I don't know what to ex compare it to he put maple syrup in yeah. it actually a little bit. Yeah, that's how sweet we it. wanted that's it. That's how they sweeten there. Interesting. But I've been there, what you guys saw, it was like a very, it's like an Indian kind of vibe. Yeah, there's like this seating panel on the side where it's just like a bunch of pillows and blankets. It was really and literally cute. just people who didn't know each other were all sitting mm -hmm. together. It was cool. I think there's like a ton of Instagram opportunities there if that's what you're going for. The it's staff was vibe. super nice. He was really, really nice. I think it's more for hanging out though rather than doing work on a yeah. laptop more so. For me at least, I wouldn't probably do work there. I would no, get distracted, I don't think so. But like if you're going to catch up with a friend or you're going yeah. on like a date or something, that's a Kinda good cool. spot. Um, there was like a nice outdoor patio as well. I really liked the vibe in there. I felt like it was a very like happy vibe. Me too. The guy was super nice. I was working. Everyone was like super happy. Everyone was, I'd give that like a four and a half. Me too. It was really good. I would definitely go there would again definitely and I would get that again. drink again. So good. It's time to rank them. Well, I guess we'll do like overall experience. Okay. Cause that might win for so, me. So for me, yeah. Um, okay, this that place one. was first. So Jamari would be number one. one. Wild Child number two. Yeah. Equator. Equator. Morning Owl. Morning Owl. And Ministry, Ministry of Coffee. coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess let us know what you guys think if you guys want to do a part two because I think we might do one in the Glebe. There's tons more There's coffee There's so places. many coffee shops in Ottawa that we can try it. So I figured it might be easiest if we do it by like area of Ottawa. But that was so Love much fun. Coffee. If you guys enjoyed, give it a big thumbs up. If you did enjoy, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm a <laughs> YouTuber. knows what she's doing. And yeah, let us know if you guys want to see a part two down below. And we're gonna go eat now because we have so much caffeine in our bodies. And we're gonna that, drink water. <laughs> yeah, I need water so bad. Like, it's crazy. We're gonna go eat Panera now. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.